you get an email that says, hey, if your car's not out of here in six or seven hours, then we're going to impound it. What's up, guys? Chris from Resto Mods here. As you know, we give away a fully restored and modified classic every three months. And as such, we buy a ton of classic cars. A lot of people ask us, where do we find these cars? And the answer is everywhere we can find them. So that includes classified ads, auctions, uh, just cruising down the street, cars and coffee, anywhere we can find a car that we're interested in, we're gonna try to buy it. But two of our big sources are online auctions and classifieds. And out of those, we bid a lot on bringatrailer.com and then also big auction houses like Meekum and Barrett Jackson. We're here today to talk about the difference between those two buying experiences as we just last week purchased a 1970 Cuda from Bring a Trailer and a 1965 Buick Riviera from Meekum Auctions. So let's talk about all the details and see how those two experiences were a lot different for us. So let's talk a little bit about the differences between Meekum and Bring a Trailer because they're very different things. So Meekum is just an industry powerhouse. They've been around for decades and decades. They've sold uh, hundreds of thousands of cars, done hundreds of millions of dollars in business. Uh, and it's really fun to go to. You get to go to the auction. They have thousands of cars right there. You can walk around, eat a corn dog, drink a beer, look at all these cars, talk to a bunch of gearheads. Uh, it's, it's a blast. It's, it's a full experience in itself. <clears throat> Whereas Bring a Trailer is basically classified ads on the internet in an auction format. Um, and so they list new cars every day. Uh, they send out a daily email with new listings as well as all the listings that are closing. Uh, and they send out a weekly digest which kind of tells you all the stats and gives you kind of an industry snapshot, which is really cool that they share that data. Um, it's actually my favorite email to get every day in the morning. I open it up, I get to look at all the cars that are for sale, whether I'm buying something or not. Uh, maybe it inspires me to buy something. Um, but they close you know, anywhere from 100 to 140 auctions per day um, on Bring a Trailer. Uh, so they're doing a tremendous amount of business. There's a lot of bidders there. There's a lot of sellers there. Um, but very different experiences and very different things. Um, and both are great uh, in their own right for their own reasons. Um, but they are very different. So when you're buying on Bring a Trailer, you're actually buying directly from the seller. Whereas if you're buying on Meekum, you're very much buying from Meekum. And Meekum's a big business. They set up these huge events. They have a fleet full of semis. They rent out stadiums. Uh, it's just a giant company and a giant operation. And dealing with them is a little bit different than if you're buying a car from a person uh, it's just a one-on-one -on -one transaction, and in a lot of ways, that's a lot simpler, um, and there's a lot less procedure to go through. Um, and we're going to talk about our individual experiences with both. Um, we actually purchased the uh, 65 Riviera first, uh, so we're going to talk about that first. Um, and I've got all the details here. Got my cheat sheet. Um, we actually purchased this car uh, from the Meekum Indy auction. Uh, and they had, I want to say, over a thousand cars there. I think twelve or thirteen hundred cars there. We looked at a ton of them. I've always wanted a Riviera. Um, just this design to me in the '60s. It's so wild. This car is almost 60 years old. This example is exactly original. I don't know if this is the original color or the original paint. It looks like it was repainted at some point. It obviously does not have the original wheels. But everything else is original. It's got the original nailhead V8 in it. It's all the original interior and. You know, this is not a car review video, so I'm not going to get too much into it, but 65 is the only year uh, with the clamshell vertical headlights, uh, and it's just something I've always wanted. So when this one popped up on Meekum, uh, I probably got a little too excited. I probably overbid. I probably overpaid. But uh, nevertheless, here it is, uh, and, and I'm very happy. But let's walk through the process. So um, I registered online as a bidder at Meekum.com, uh, and there's a bidder fee associated with that. I want to say I paid around... $400 uh, to sign up as a bidder for the year. So I can bid in any Meekum auctions in person or on the internet uh, for a whole calendar year. Um, and so that's cool because they run an event, I feel like at least every month um, and they're traveling around the country and sometimes I get to go in person. Like I said, it's really fun. Um, you know, you show up, you get to talk to a lot of car heads, you get to look at a lot of cars. Uh, it's a whole spectacle. Um, it's very much uh, glitz and glamor. It's very cool. Um, so I paid, I think, around $400 for the bidder's pass. 
Um, and then I started looking through lots and then I was uh, kind of streaming it online. Uh, they have a bidder portal that you log into. You can see the video uh, with the auctioneer. Each car gets about a minute to three minutes um, that's up there. That's actually a big difference between Bring a Trailer and Meekum. Each car at Bring a Trailer gets a full week. Um, and so you get the notice, hey, this car is up for uh, auction. Um, and it's up for a full week. And so you can bid, you can ask the seller questions. Um, if it's close to you geographically, you can go and possibly look at the car in person. Again, it's a person to person transaction. So you have to arrange that with the seller. Um, but uh, that's kind of a cool aspect. You get a whole week to look at it. Whereas Meekum, they post the lots weeks in advance, but the actual auction itself is only a minute to three minutes. And so it kind of creates this urgency that's both fun and also a little bit terrifying. So um, it creates a lot of urgency and you got to bid on your car quick and you got to be ready to go. So um, this one came up. Uh, I bid back and forth a bunch of times, and then eventually the hammer price fell at uh, $36,000 uh, for this car, which saying it out loud is incredible because this car is like, you had to be uh, a very successful person in 1965 to own this car. Um, and for the price of you know less than a, a Honda Accord nowadays, you can uh, own this incredible piece of machinery, which is mind blowing to me. But um, okay, so into the fees. So Meekum, uh, their fee structure, in addition to having to pay a uh, buyer registration fee, uh, their fees are, like I said, it's a big company, they have a big operation, they have a lot of fees to cover. So their uh, fees are as follows for a buyer. They also charge separate seller fees. Um, but for a buyer, whatever you decide to pay for a car, so in this case we paid $36,000, you also have to pay a buyer's premium on top of that. So if you're in person, it's 10%. If you're on the phone, it's 12%. If you're on the internet, it's 12%. So a full 12% over the $36,000 worked out to $4,320 in fees that we paid to Meekum. And so we purchased this car May 17th, uh, which was a Friday, online at the Meekum auction. Um, and then we wired them that money, which was $40,320 uh, on Friday, the 17th. They sent an invoice, a purchase record, all that kind of stuff, a wire instructions. We went ahead and paid right away. They didn't say anything about pickup. We're in San Diego, California. Um, and the, like I said, these guys rent out stadiums. They rent out these huge events and all the cars are there in person. So um, it's definitely something more fun when you're there in person online. It's a little bit different. You don't get you know, as much of the experience, but they do have all the cars there in person. So they're out in, you know, underneath tents in these stadium parking lots and stuff. It's, uh, it's uh, very much a old school logistics heavy type operation. So I knew I would have to ship the car to San Diego at some point, um, but none of that was communicated there. And then that was a Friday. And then so Monday, they sent me an email and said, hey, you've got to pick up your car by two. Um, and so Marissa from our office contacted them and tried to set up a transport um, through uh, Central Dispatch, which is what we use as a dealership to ship vehicles around the country. It's kind of like a central repository where people can negotiate with shipping companies and put out requests for bids and all that kind of stuff and, and sign contracts so people can move vehicles around. We looked at the average price was what about, uh, 1500 bucks from Indy to San Diego. Um, uh, Meekum does offer shipping. Um, and so uh, when Marissa reached out to them, uh, she said, okay, I'm trying to arrange shipping. And they said, great, no problem. It's gotta be out of here by what, five o'clock? 6 p.m. Eastern time. 6 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and she said, oh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to arrange it by then, what happens? And they informed us that the car would be towed to an impound and we would have to recover it from there. Um, so maybe not the best buyer experience there. They were, however, happy to offer us their shipping services and we paid $3,000. So basically double what we would estimate that we would pay uh, if we use our normal shipping services. Uh, Meekum uh, offered to provide that um, and then gave us a shipping estimate of roughly two weeks. Whereas if we had paid our 1500 and arranged our own shipping, um, we estimate it would have taken about three days and maybe half as much. So the shipping there, there's definitely a markup uh, that Meekum's doing there. Uh, like I said, it's a bigger company. Um, it just feels very much more kind of nickel and dimey where they're gonna get their fees pretty much at every opportunity. Um, and so shipping is very much a part of that. So uh, nevertheless, after all that, uh, it did arrive. I think, so we purchased May 17th. It was delivered here. Friday, May 31st, uh, and the actual people who delivered it were great people. Uh, they took very good care of the car. It arrived here exactly as we imagined it. Um, and uh, overall, 
you know, because the car is here and because it is what it is, I'm incredibly happy with the purchase. I feel like I overpaid a little bit. I feel like I got nickel and dimed along the way. Uh, but at the end of the day, the car's here. I'm very happy with it. Um, now, the other side of that coin is bring a trailer. So um, we, uh, after I purchased this car on the 17th, um, so as I said, at, at Resto Mods, we give away a car about every three months. That's four cars a year, which doesn't sound like a lot until you actually try to deliver four very high quality restored and modified 40, 50, 60 year old cars uh, that have to be all over the internet, all over uh, video, a bunch of photos taken, uh, a bunch of creatives developed, um, all to deliver to you guys. And then at the end of the day, someone's gonna jump in this thing with their family. We have to make sure these are road ready, uh, safe, performance cars. And so there's a lot of work that goes into it. Um, and so we were shopping for a car for the end of this year. I think it's RM28. Is that right? Yeah. RM28. Um, and so uh, I was under a mandate to find the car for RM28. And this wrench gets heavy, Joe. <laughs> All right, I got it. I was under a mandate to get a car for RM28, which is the end of the year. And so uh, I saw this pop up on Bring a Trailer. This is a 1970 Cuda uh, with a modern Hemi in it. Um, it is a... It's not a four speed, it has the pistol grip shifter, but I think it's a five speed. Um, but it's a manual car with a modern 6.1 liter Hemi in it, fuel injected Hemi. Uh, it's kind of resto modded on the inside already. Um, very cool car, despite the fact it doesn't have any rear view mirrors, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Um, I saw this car on Bring a Trailer. I said, hey, this is a great candidate. Let's bid on it. Um, and so on the 22nd, I think we decided, decided that's a Wednesday. That's a Wednesday. Um, so May 22nd, we bid this up on Bring a Trailer. And the way Bring a Trailer works is, like I said, it goes for a week. So they listed the car on Bring a Trailer. Uh, you have a week to comment on it, look at it, ask the seller questions. If it's near you, go look at it. Um, you know, possibly the seller would let you drive it, uh, which you can't do at Meekum. Um, and you have that whole week, and then it comes down to when the auction's gonna close. Every time there's another bid, the counter on the auction resets to two minutes. So if you wait down to like two seconds, you bid, it goes back to two minutes. So everybody gets a chance to bid. This is obviously an attempt to get the price up. Um, so we did that, it went back and forth. Uh, I think we were eating tacos over here on the table at the time, and uh, we bid back and forth for 15, 20 minutes. Uh, we eventually were the high bidder at $56,500, uh, at which point the reserve was not met. And a little note on that. So you can have a reserve price in both of these formats as a seller. You can have a reserve with Meekum, you can have a reserve with Bring a Trailer. Uh, on Bring a Trailer, there's no indication of there being a reserve. There's only an indication if there's no reserve. So you kind of have to like, be aware of that and notice that if it doesn't say no reserve, it has a reserve. And you have no indication of what that reserve is. And I don't believe, and I've never sold a car on Bring a Trailer, so I don't know, um, but I don't believe that they work with the seller on lowering or per potentially meeting the uh, reserve price. Whereas at Meekum, a lot of times the seller is present as people are bidding. And so they'll try to get that seller, if they're not quite to the reserve and the bidding action is lowered, they try to get them to lower that reserve price so that they can close a deal. Because Meekum only gets paid well, they get paid all, everywhere along the way, but they get paid the most when they actually close the deal. Bring a Trailer only gets paid when they actually close the deal, and I'll go into that. So we did not meet the reserve price at 56500 What happens after that is Bring a Trailer sends an email to the seller with the high bidder's information. The seller can then reach out to the high bidder uh, and then try to close the deal, which is exactly what happened here. So the seller reached out to me and said, hey, you're the high bid at 56500 The reserve was at seventy. Um, you know, this is the seller's deal. Uh, I said, okay, great. Do you want to just put us directly in contact? In this case, the seller was a consigning dealer selling on behalf of another gentleman. Uh, that gentleman, I think, was on his way to some race and he was uh, racing cars and so didn't want to get directly involved. But I went back and forth with the seller. We ended up on a sales price. So that was uh, the auction closed on the 22nd of May. Uh, we actually had a deal the very next day. Um, and we went back and forth a little bit. Um, and again, I came up quite a bit and we closed the deal at $66,000. Now, the way Bring a Trailer's fees work is when a deal is closed on Bring a Trailer, they charge uh, a 5% fee on top of the final sales price uh, with a minimum of $250 and it's capped actually at $7,500. Obviously Meekum does not have a cap on their buyer's fees. Uh, Bring a Trailer does have a, a cap, their minimum is 250. Meekum's minimum is 1,000. Um, 
So yeah, they're gonna get their money either way. In this case, Bring a Trailer connected us. We came to a deal. Bring a Trailer never made any money on that. There was no buyer's premium. I didn't pay a dime to Bring a Trailer to buy this car, even though it was on their platform. They connected us. We closed the deal because of Bring a Trailer. They didn't charge us a dime. I think there's a listing fee to the seller, but it's maybe $100, maybe $200. Um, and that was it. That's all that Bring a Trailer made on that particular deal. Um, and then for shipping, obviously, like I said, it's a classified ads platform that basically functions in an auctions format. So we connected directly with the seller. Uh, we arranged our own shipping and we shipped from a suburb of Kansas City to here in San Diego. And we paid $1,275 for enclosed shipping, which is basically the same thing service wise that we got with the Buick. Um, we just paid $1,700 less, right? Okay. Um, so much less, and let's talk about the timeline. So we closed the deal um, on the 23rd of May. Uh, the car was picked up from KC on the 24th of May and was delivered here uh, on the 27th of May. And so uh, despite the fact that uh, we purchased the CUDA a full, we purchased that the 17th, we purchased the CUDA on the 23rd, a full six days after, this car arrived a full four days before this car. So very different experiences. At the end of the day, you're buying a car on the internet. Both of these we bought sight unseen. Both of them I'm super happy with now that they're actually here. Um, but the experience is very different. And so for us, um, I would say I much prefer the bring a trailer experience if you're gonna buy a car sight unseen on the internet because you're dealing person to person. And to me, anytime you're dealing just with a seller to a buyer one-on-one, -on -one, you're gonna have a much better experience than if you're dealing with several representatives of a very big company um, that does this a lot and they're dealing with people that maybe don't do it a lot. Um, and so they're you know, providing solutions, they're upselling and upcharging at every opportunity. Um, you know, which is the way they run their business and it's a great business, it's very successful. Uh, if I were to buy from Mecham again, I probably would never do it online. I think it's crazy that they charge an extra 2% um, to buy it online. I would also only do that because the shipping is kind of, uh, I wouldn't want to call it a nightmare, but it's definitely not convenient. Uh, and they definitely don't communicate that process very well to you. You get an email that says, hey, if your car's not out of here in six or seven hours, then we're going to impound it. It's not a great customer experience for a guy who just spent $40,000 on a car that's halfway across the country. So um, that part I didn't really like. I would probably do it again if I was in person because it is very cool to be part of the experience, see all the glitz and glamour of the auction, get into the excitement of bidding on the auction, you buy a car, boom, you just pay for it on the spot. And I know the Mopar's 5150 guys did this when we were out in Phoenix and it looked very fun where they bid on a car, they paid for it on the spot, and then they literally just walked over, got the keys and drove off in the car. So that part is very cool and that's probably the only way I would do it because then it's only a 10% buyer's premium which is still double bring a trailer uh, but is at least more reasonable than 12% buyer's premium. Um, so that's probably the only way I would buy from Mecham again is if I was gonna do it in person, pay in person, and then be able to just drive it off a lot, which is obviously very exciting. Uh, but for us, uh, sight unseen, bring a trailer uh, is a great asset. I think we've probably bought more sweepstakes cars from there than we have anywhere else. Um, and now that I've given you all these details and the links are in the uh, description below, you can go and see all the cars that we've bought for Resto Mods on bring a trailer. Uh, we use the same account. It's actually my old personal account that I bought a bunch of cars on before. Um, and so you can see kind of maybe uh, sneak peeks at upcoming sweepstakes cars that way as well. But that was our experience, uh, you know, being here in San Diego, buying a lot of cars online. That's our experience in Mecham versus Bring a Trailer. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if you want a chance to win this Hemi Cuda, it's a 1970 fuel injected Hemi Cuda with a pistol grip, manual transmission, full resto mod. We're gonna be giving this thing away towards the end of the year. It's gonna be RM28. Always check out restomods.com. As I said, we're giving away a car every three months. You gotta be in it to win it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think the difference between bring a trailer and Meekum. Keep having fun with cars. I stole that from Esparza.